Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about Wells Fargo Bank and more specifically, we're talking about how to set up your thumbprint or face ID through the Wells Fargo mobile banking app. So let's go ahead and get this started. First off, if you're not familiar with Wells Fargo Bank, it is one of the largest banking institutions in the US. They might be international, I'm not too sure. If you happen to know, be sure to leave me a comment below, but I believe they do work internationally. So if you don't have the app already, you can easily go to the Apple Store or Google Play and download Wells Fargo. It's this red, yellow, and white app right here. Be sure to check the video description. I'll try to leave a link there, but I'm going to go ahead and open it up now. All right, so I have my Wells Fargo mobile banking app open now, and I want to go ahead and set up the Touch ID because I have an Apple iPhone 7. I don't have one of the newer phones that have the Face ID, but the setup is going to be similar. So this is assuming that you've already set up your Wells Fargo mobile banking registration. If you haven't done that, be sure to go back and check the video description. I'll try to leave a link there to my other video that explains that easy process of setting up your Wells Fargo online banking. Once you have that, then you will need to your username and your password to set up your Touch ID on your iPhone. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and enter your username and password. That's right here. Again, this is the one that you set up when you were set registering for online banking. I'm going to go ahead and enter that in off screen now. All right, I went ahead and entered my username and my password. And then what you want to do is before you click sign on, you want to scroll this right here. It says set up touch ID. And what that's going to do, it's going to let Wells Fargo know that you want to be able to log into your Wells Fargo mobile banking app with just your thumbprint or your face ID. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. It looks like a slider, but it's actually a click. So I'm going to press that now. All right, so I went ahead and pressed that. Now we're all ready. We have our username our password, and then we also have the Setup Touch ID button pressed to the right. Now I'm going to go ahead and click Sign On. All right, it's thinking now. All right, so I went ahead and waited for this screen to pop up, and it says Sign On with Touch ID for your Wells Fargo account. Now this is basically a warning letting you know that if you share this device, so for example, if you share an iPad or whatever device you're setting this up with, make sure that you are the only one that has access to it. If you share it with a couple of other people, they do not recommend that you set this up because that opens it up to more potential for fraud or mistakes to happen. So again, do not set this feature up on a phone that you share with somebody else. As long as you're okay with that, what you want to do is go ahead and click this little button, enable sign on with Touch ID, and that way Wells Fargo knows that you do agree with that. So I'm going to click that now. All right, I went ahead and clicked on that, and I'm going to go ahead and click save. All right, it's thinking, and then bada bing, bada boom. There you go on the top, it says you have successfully enabled sign on with Touch ID. So you do have that confirmation right at the top there. All right, so once that's set up, you can go ahead and click on go to account summary right here. I'm gonna click on that now. All right, and there you go. That is my home screen for my Wells Fargo mobile banking app. Now, when you do set up Touch ID, just be aware that the email you set up with your mobile banking will receive a confirmation confirming that you set up your Touch ID. So let me go and click over to that email and show you what that looks like. All right, so here is the email confirmation. It's just letting me know that I have successfully enabled Touch ID or Face ID if you have a newer Apple device. And then the next time you sign on with the mobile app, you can use the Touch ID instead of entering your passcode. So that's pretty good confirming that I did request that. Let me click back to the app and sign out. All right, here I am on the app right now. I'm gonna go ahead and close this down and restart the app and show you that this works. So I'm gonna close it out now. All right, so here's the app again before I opened it. It's right here, this little red and yellow one. Let me go ahead and click on it. And I've clicked on it and now Wells Fargo is prompting me for my Touch ID, which is my thumbprint. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter that now just by pressing my thumb on the reader or your face if you have face ID. And there you go, boom. It's opened up. This is the account. I did not have to enter my password. I just used my thumb ID. So that's how you set up your thumb ID or face ID on your newer Apple device. And that's for your Wells Fargo mobile banking app. Hopefully you found the video useful. If so, click thumbs up and I hope to see you on the next one. Thanks again for watching.